like to have you meet my family and see how much fun we have together. I guess we're a great deal like most other American families, except maybe we do more things together. At least people will often tell us we do. Today, my daughter Barbara and I must decide which goats we will sell to the Navy, as they are buying goats to send to the island of Guam so that the servicemen there can have fresh milk. All the goats on the island were killed in the war. We talk over the different goats and decide which ones will be the most useful to the Navy. My children are thrilled about this order, goats for Guam. Mother comes out to call Patty. She wants her to ask Barbara and Bill to hang out the wash. Right over there. It takes a lot of washing for a family of five. The children are glad to help when we need them. We are always interested in their activities and in return, they share our interests. Even little Patty likes to feel she is helping us. It is surprising how many things that little girl can do. But it isn't all work. The children have lots of time to play. Bill holds Fleeta while Barbara saddles her. Patty never misses a thing that happens in our small farm. She adores her big sister and has just one desire in life, to be just like Barbara. Barbara is quick at everything she does, whether it is riding or baking a cake. Bill holds Patty safely by the hand. The children tag along, begging for some trick riding. Barbara rides very well. In fact, she's won several cups for her riding. Fleeta is a high-spirited horse and always a big thrill to Bill and Patty. Make a rear higher, Barbara, higher, higher. The children think Barbara and Fleeta are as good as a circus. And Fleeta can count. Yes, sir, watch her. No, Fleeta, that's not right. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five. Now, how does a horse know how to count? Barbara often does errands on horseback. Today, I want her to take a message to Dr. Graham, the animal doctor. The Navy wants him on hand when the goats leave for Guam. On the way back, she will pick up some groceries. Busy little Patty. She tries to do the things she has seen her father do. This is the way she plays at being grown up. Cleo watches every move she makes. All the animals on the farm love our baby. She loves them. Barbara is back and Patty goes to meet her. Bill takes the load and helps himself to a cracker. Fellow's always hungry on a farm. Barbie, did you bring me some candy? Barbara says no, but she will bake her a cake. Now it's time for Barbara to start milking her goats. Barbara is very proud of her goat, Ginny, who has won prizes at the county fair and the 4-H club fairs. She even holds a national record for milk production. That is, she is given the largest quantity of milk of rich quality in a single day of any goat in the country on which there are official records. She gives about nine quarts a day. Patty loves that fresh, warm milk. And then, too, it's fun doing things with Barb. Barb never acts as though Patty were a little girl. Mmm, uh-oh, a little mustache there, young lady. Come on, let's wipe it off. <laughs> that looks better. Yes, Barb enjoys little sister, too. They're just pals together. Barbara has a strong, sure milking stroke. Then she weighs the milk carefully. Seven pounds, three and one half quarts of milk. Very good for a single milking of a little goat. And then I take the milk and run it through the separator. Goat's milk is different from cow's milk. The cream does not rise by itself. It is necessary to run the milk through a machine. 
and you can see the way the milk runs into the pail and the cream into the jar. Bill brings another bucket from the barn. Everything must be spotlessly clean when you handle milk. Now Barbara is stirring up the cake she promised Patty. Our family lives out of doors a great deal, so we all have good appetites. Patty wants chocolate cake with marshmallow frosting, and can she lick the pan? Of course, there's that matter of dishes. I never saw a child yet that liked to wash dishes. However, we all pitch in, and some way it's over in a jiffy. Well, the Navy men are here to buy their goats to send to Guam. That officer seems to know what he's looking for. He examines them carefully and really appreciates our fine goats. The Navy wants good stock to start a herd of strong goats that will give a lot of milk. And he likes Gloria, Claudia, and the others Barbara and I picked out as being the best goats for the Navy. They don't know anything about the long ocean voyage that is ahead of them. The Navy asked us to all meet at Mr. Carson's barn at 5 o'clock. As usual, several of our family are on hand, mother, Bill, and a neighbor. The Navy bought goats from several different stock farms. The truck is well padded so that the goats will ride comfortably. And several bales of hay are taken along for food while en route in the truck. Mr. Ecker, the head of our goat society, and Dr. Graham are busy checking each goat's papers and health record. The ship is leaving from San Francisco, so Mr. Brown and I are to take the goats to the port. Bill puts my luggage in the cab. That boy just naturally sees things to do. Goats are such affectionate little creatures, you become very fond of them. And we all hate to send our pets on that long ocean voyage to Guam, thousands of miles away. Good little goats, and may you bring lots of luck and health to those far-off islanders. Well, the truckload of valuable goats is ready so one last goodbye, and we're off for San Francisco. The next night, I am back home again by dinner time. And what a lot we have to talk over. You know, it seems to me that when a family gathers around the table, well, that's the time we're closest together. And tomorrow is going to be another exciting day for the children, the 4-H Club Fair. Both Barbara and Bill are showing stock at the fair. No, Patty, you can't go along. That's no place for a little girl. Barbara's thrilled with the fair. She's been grooming and training her goats for weeks for the show ring. I still have to help Patty with her chicken. She likes the variety of food her mother cooks. Isn't that a nice plate? Lots of green vegetables. Just the things to make children grow healthy and strong. Uh, son, will you please fill the glasses? Yes, the children are good about helping. Have to give their mother credit for that. She always seems to have time to explain things to them. What a lot of fun we have together. Uh-oh, don't forget Patty's glass, Bill. She's mighty thirsty tonight. Betty is happy to see her children eat so well. Patty likes to help, too. She's really pretty small and uses both hands when she carries the dishes. Careful, baby. Steady. There she goes. Oh, the cake Barbara was baking this afternoon chocolate with marshmallow frosting. Just what Patty ordered. Mother cuts big, generous slices. And fresh strawberry ice cream. Won't that taste good? Bill takes a special interest in this because he helped tend the strawberry plants. Yes, sir, I think I've got a pretty nice family. Well, the day of the 4-H Club Fair is here, 
The local 4-H clubs are competing, and the children are anxious to win points for their own club. Bill and Barbara are both in this event. Barbara has shown before, but this is the first time for Bill. He's been practicing for days and really knows how to show his goats. The judge is Mr. Castle, the local county fair advisor for the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Yes, sir, Barb wins a second. And Bill, the yellow ribbon, fourth place. Not bad, Bill, for your first time. Everyone up for the next event. French Alpine milking goats. Both children are entered. Look at their nice straight backs, the large milk bags. Tense moment for the children. Which one will the judge decide has the best points? Good, Barbara wins this event, and also the baby goat event. The next event is unusual. The parents show the goats, and the children act as judges. They are graded for their judging ability. First, they grade the goats, and then the judge scores the same goat, and the results are compared. Our whole family takes part. You can see how we all enjoy the same things. It's hard to decide the winner. Look at these fine heads. The children know they must be impartial. Each goat will get a fair chance. The children are very serious. Now, which has the best hindquarters? Barb thinks Paulette. Bill thinks Ginny. And now Mr. Castle, the county farm advisor, judges the same event. The winning points will be credited to the proper 4-H club. The judge has decided. I hand Mr. Castle the children's score sheets and the results are compared. Barbara's training counts. Yes, sir, she gets a second. Barbara hands Tom her ribbon. She's won a lot of points for her club today. Now, here's a big moment for Bill. He acts as one of the judges for the hog event. He tries hard to make a good decision. He wears the 4-H club official badge, a nice thing for a fellow to keep. It takes a lot of work to train and groom the animals for the ring. The goats don't show well if they're nervous. So, believe it or not, sometimes at night, Barbara even sleeps in the stall with her champion. Thus, the goat is not afraid and sleeps better in a strange place. In the morning, the goat will be rested and show to advantage in the events. Well, sleep tight, Barbara. Now the fair is over and Barbara is back doing housework. But even dusting isn't bad when you're handling cups like these that you've won yourself. Barbara makes good money, too, selling her goats enough to pay a good portion of her college expenses. Bill, too, makes money on his rabbits and hogs. Every once in a while, he needs a word of advice and encouragement. I think what I like best are the evenings with the family around the fire. Well, Barbara uses those needles just like her mother does. Uh-oh, a little trouble. Well, mother will straighten it out. You can see, in our family, there's teamwork all the time. Not that we don't have disagreements, but we all pull together. Now take Mother. She always has time to understand Patty's problems, even if it is just trouble with a dolly shoe. There we are, all fixed. Thank you, Mommy. If I do say it myself, Barbara is a mighty pretty girl. And it didn't surprise me when they used her picture on the cover of the goat magazine. Don't you agree with me? Say, Patty wants some music. Good idea. It's nice to relax after the day's work. Getting late, time for Patty to be off to bed.
big sister helps out. And that little Dickens full of the old Mick, even when she's going to bed. Barbara's sweet with a baby, but firm too. Patty, go right to sleep. But first, Dolly must be tucked in. Now, good night, folks. And I hope you all are as happy in your homes as we are in ours. <laughs>